Hey guys, Greenbird here. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I just want to do a quick video following up on a previous video that I did for um, for the little dude Finn that was uh, flint and steel. It involved the ferro rod, and um, someone brought up a really, really good point in the comments. Jane had mentioned that a lot of people, instead of using the blade of their knife, which, as I mentioned, really you know, that'll dull your knife right away. We'll use the back of your knife, and I probably should have elaborated a little bit on why I used um, the side of my knife, but I just kind of, you know, sort of glazed over that and uh, hadn't thought of it at the time. The reason is, is that with this knife, I'm not sure how good the camera's picking that up, but there seems to be some sort of a coating or some sort of processing, and you can see, maybe you can see, maybe you can't, I've used the edge of this knife. Oh, actually, this is a new knife. This is not my old one. I've used, I had an old, another knife, an old knife, and I had used the edge of it several times to, to use against the striker. And maybe, we'll just try that. See, it just doesn't take a spark. Um, and that, I think, is because of the way this knife was manufactured. I'm not a huge Bear Grylls fan, so don't give me a hard time. Uh, but this knife is actually, if I have to be 100% honest, is manufactured pretty well. It's a good solid knife. Um, the last one that I had, I had worn all of the rubber down to the, the orange and I put a new blade on it many times. <clears throat> and it's been a really reliable knife. I like the fact that it has a nice rubber grip. I like that it's orange. I can see it. If I happen to drop it, I'm not going to lose it. Again, I'm not a huge Bear Grylls fan. But um, this knife, I have to be 100% honest, is produced uh, very, very well. So I thought I would use another knife that I had bought when I first started getting into survival and um, you know, before I really started to embark in primitive living when I was more gear oriented. Um, I bought this other knife too. This is also a Gerber Bear Grylls knife. And this is actually a really good example of what I was talking about and why I think that that other knife is just the edge of the back edge of it is not um, you know properly I don't know manufactured to be able to use against a flint against a um, ferrule rod which honestly you know Jane is right you should use the back of your knife if you can so this is also not my favorite knife but I bought it I have it I'm stuck with it so I do use it all right comes with a built-in ferrule rod and you can see I have used it quite a bit but I want to show something really interesting so it has the same kind of dark colored um, outer layer I don't know if that's a if that's a coating or, or the way it's processed or whatever but if you look closely right here let's see if I can get in, in the camera here having a hard time. But look, look, see how the color changes right there? And what that is, if you can't see that, I guess I should have done this in the sunlight. There you see it again. That is a part of the steel that is different than the rest. Now, so, watch how... No, that does a little bit. But now watch how when I hit that part that's actually made for it, see how you see the difference? I'm getting huge sparks. So this, which is the part of the knife that has that finish on it, opposed to the part that has the finish off of it. Huge difference. I don't, I don't know if that's picking that up or not. Let me try again. Maybe if I get further away. So here's the part getting some sparks, getting something. And now here's the part that is manufactured specifically has that groove in there for it. I think that's why they did it. Look at that. See that? So let's, let's put that under there. So here's the top part I'm using. It has that finish on it. I'm getting little sparks, but nothing good. Now I'm going to use that part that is specifically machined for that. There it is.
there's our flame. So I thought it was important to make this video because um, I really should have pointed that out that typically on most knives you can use the back of your blade to get those sparks. Any high carbon steel, sorry about that noise, any high carbon steel will give you that that spark. And again, I don't know for sure if it's the coating or if it's just a coincidence, but I have just noticed that with these Gerber knives, these bare grill knives, they just they have that darker, you know, color to them. They just do not spark as well on the back side of the knife. So, anyway, hope this um, adds a little bit of value to that last video. And Jane, thank you so much for your feedback. I love it when I hear from people. Um, you know, I'm a micro channel, so <laughs> I don't have a lot of people that communicate with me, but um, it's good that we all we all communicate and give each other advice and ask each other questions, and it's just awesome. So, till next time, hope everyone's doing awesome. Don't forget to uh, love your neighbor, love your family members, love your wife, your husband, your kids, and let's just be kind to each other during these times. Everyone out.